Hello. Uh, I think almost everyone here knows me probably, which stems from that I joined in 2012, um, back when it was my fanbus before we merged with Flixbus actually. I worked here in different roles in this company. I was a developer, team lead, head of software engineering. Currently I'm a product owner for operations, traffic control and uh, mobility partner management. Uh, you can find me online with this handle usually. So, I want to start with internal communication at MindFanbus, actually. Um, so, the company itself usually relied on email, which was back then like MS Exchange in the office, on premise. Um, and IT was mostly using Skype group chats, which already like pre-shadowed that there was a certain disconnect between IP and IT and the rest of the company. Um, at some point we started pushing Trello for project management and the rest of the company got addicted, which lasts in some departments to this date. Um, we switched to Atlassian in r roughly 2015 after the merger for project management. What else was happening around that time? Uh, Microsoft bought Skype in 2011. In 2012, Slack Technologies was called TinySpec, and they were actually a gaming company. So Slack didn't exist yet, which was only released in 2013. Um, in 2014, so before the merger, we noticed that Skype began just not sending messages sometimes because Microsoft decided it was against their rules, like not sending links which caused some privacy concerns to us. Um, we were researching different services, Basecamp, HipChat, and lots of others. Um, one other thing which was pretty annoying with Skype is that messages got synchronized only between the clients. So if someone was not online, their message got lost until they came back online, which caused sometimes confusion. So at some point, we decided to switch to Slack. How did that happen? Well, as I said, we tried a few things. Yeah? And what is the most important feature? Animated GIFs, obviously. So, FlixTech. Um, one very important thing is please fill your profile. Yeah? A lot of people don't, and then like, someone starts writing to you, and you're like, who are you? What do you want from me? Yeah? So this is just a very easy way to show who you are, who you're, where you are working, and what are you working with. Um, if you're joining Slack, well, for you it's too late. Yeah? I will use this as a manual for newcomers later. Uh, please introduce yourself. Um, there are these triggers like add here, which can be used kind of safe. Um, they, they notify all the active users currently like the one on the desktops, and if you're just by chance checking your mobile app. If you're using a channel, it also notifies mobile clients, yeah? So you get some push message on your phone, and people get very annoyed by that, especially in big channels. We have like 350 people right now on Slack, yeah? So you're interrupting them, maybe even waking them up if they forgot to turn off their phone. It's like the equivalent of coming into room and shouting, so try to avoid that usually, unless there's an emergency. So, of course, there are channels which have different rules, yeah? So there are some communities which say, like, we're using channel like 100 times a day, so we don't care. Um, it's usually written down or not written down, just depends on the group, so no hard rules there. Um, sometimes, maybe if you have a question, really think about if you need to use this trigger or if your question can wait an hour, because other people are working as well. So, be patient. Um, to avoid convoluting big channels like general global announcement, this thread feature is very useful because it doesn't hide the previous messages. So, from our wiki, we actually have a Slack etiquette, in case you didn't know. Num rule number one is don't be a dick. Yeah? That works actually almost everywhere. Mm. You should know where a towel is if you want to get some of the references in this talk here. In general, we are a very international company and jokes might depend like on a context which other people don't have. Yeah? So if you're making some jests or jokes, 
People might be offended because they just don't understand it. Like, get your shit together and pack it in the bag. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, even if it wasn't intended to be harmful. If you're asking questions, try to find a fitting channel and don't just like put a technical question in a product channel. Might not always work. Um, as I already said, use these triggers here with care. Be clear on what you need. It's like, hey, it doesn't work. Please help me. You're like, no, I cannot help you with that information. That works like as all bug reporting everywhere, right? <clears throat> so, how to use channels? People are like, oh, another Slack channel, yeah? But you can actually use them as very, very fine-grained filters, so you can only subscribe to the topics you're actually interested in, yeah? So use this power. Um, there is no limit on subscribing to any channels, and it's very easy to mute them. So just click on mute. You would still get a notification if you're mentioned there, like by name, by your handle, or with like add channel at here and you can ignore the daily conversations. Channels exist like per team, per topic, per location, per hobby, per programming language, whatever you basically want. There is a lot of water cooler talk, as I call them, uh, uh, topics, so basically non-work related stuff. Um, some teams also use it like for, for system monitoring, which I will come to later. Uh, important channels. So there is, of course, general, and you're forced to be in there. You cannot leave that, actually, which is a bit mean. Um, because there are so many people, try to like, keep the discussions in there short, obviously. Global announcement, self-explaining, I think. Um, green work is for people who are like working on a monolith, mostly PHP developers. There is random, where basically everything is allowed, but again, don't be a dick. Um, Jira can also be used for Confluence support, yeah? So all the Atlassian tools, just typing Confluence is a bit tedious. Um, there are, of course, team channels which follow these conventions, like team underscore should be there for every team and for chapters as well. So, Slack integrations. What's cool about Slack are all these integrations with other tools, for example, if someone creates a bug ticket in your team service desk, you get a notification if you set it up. Yeah? If you want help, ask again in hashtag Jira. Um, New Relic monitoring, that is pretty useful as well. You can set alerts for your channel. Yeah? So if something happens, you get a push message on your phone. There is the unfurling for Slack, uh, for Jira tickets from a tool, it was called Jirio just bought by Strategios, not sure how to pronounce that, um, which does exactly that. We use it extensively, for example, in my team's um, backlog refinements, yeah? So we are posting that to an internal channel, so you can have your thread, maybe even make estimations if you're working with a remote team. Poly, yeah, if you want to have a poll, obviously, in a channel, um, find out like where to go after work, agree on something, vote on something, elect the next chapter representative, whatever. Slash time is pretty useful if you're working with a team which lives in different time zones, as I do, for example. So you just put slash time and your message and would add basically the other times of all the people in that channel automatically. Um, slash lunch train, one of the most important things. Yeah, so. If you want to have a lunch date, use that one. And slash rock, which creates this nice little thing here. Ah, yeah, and you can roll a die, actually, for the RPG fans or whatever you would need it for. Some tricks, yeah, control K or command K for the Mac users is your friend, which opens kind of a quick search for channels, for peoples, for whatever. There is a reminding feature for messages, but be careful with that. Um, at some point, you will also find a snooze feature for reminders, and then you end up, like on Monday morning, with, with 40 reminders, like, ah, oh, damn. I was already talking about muting channels, and use your status. 
Yeah? So you can say, hey, I'm a Flick Tech Summit, or I'm on vacation for the next two weeks, so people can see that immediately. Um, one other little thing which I want to mention is our Hall of Fame. Yeah? So if there are some people who contributed to the company in an outstanding way, they receive their Slack emoji. Some statistics from Slack. Yeah? So um, we are sending like 7,000, 8,000 messages a day. Um, this, this drop here was Flick Summer. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Yeah? Of course, usually not many people are working on a weekend. Um, Organizational growth, I think this chart doesn't really show that, but we've grown like from 100 people to like 350 right now, which is quite a thing in two years, as it's like focused only on tech and usually a lot of stakeholders, I guess. Um, there are some spammers, yeah, which I want to mention. So Alex Vasilenko, he has like as many posts as the whole company combined. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> So Flix Mobility, outside of Flix Tech, what's going on there? So we have FlixNet, the SharePoint successor, if you want to call it that way. There's actually lots of cool stuff there, yeah? But lots of people don't even know about it, like, hmm, FlixNet, never heard about that. Like, there on most Fridays, you can find, like, this um, Freaky Friday, where, like, someone is presenting themselves, like, hey, this was me, like, 30 years ago, here's a cool picture. I wanted to be an astronaut. But there is, of course, lots of um, company news here as well some OKR stuff, yeah, some events which is going on, and so on. Um, you can also find links to all kinds of exciting stuff there, um, all the other tools like how to get a vacation, yeah, also PowerPoint templates, travel rules, whatever you want. Um, there is also Yammer, which is kind of Flixbus Facebook, if you want to put it that way, which is full of non-work stuff. Usually. Yeah, the live ticker, live ticker can be useful for stuff like Flick Summer or other big events. Um, what is happening outside of Flixbus and outside of Flix Tech? So there is external communication, for example, there is a new initiative for this Instagram channel here, which is full of hipster stuff, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, we have a Twitter account as well, I found out, which is mostly like job ads, I think. There is a tech blog, unfortunately not too many updates, so uh, if you want to contribute to that, please do. I think it's a really cool idea, we want to do that for a long time, but unfortunately not so much happening there. That's it. So long and thanks for all the fish.